There are many people who receive the gifts of God by the Holy Spirit, but few who are anointed by God. What is the difference between being gifted by God and being anointed by God? And how can be someone anointed by God? This question is a very important question, for it's well misunderstood and well mixed it up in many people's mind. And easy to say for all, oh, you are very anointed. But maybe the person only just naturally gifted. In my life also happened story before one of the podcasting I mentioned for very long time I've been in ministry when the Lord one day when I played piano he said I anointed you for play, play piano and I was really surprised for I thought I am already anointed but the truth is the Lord never shared to me for I am anointed so let's just sing about for have something and I learned four stages finally we can see basically how we can be anointed and how work the gift of God in our life the most very important things what need to be our life and we can call number one is order order for Yes, we have so much uh, chaos and a uh, uh, lot of uh, 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 untold and uh, really a problematic situation and really we need to say, let there be light. Just how God created everything and there was really a chaos and real, how the Jewish language says, tohu, wavohu, is a form from less uh, things and but the Lord said let there be light now this light is continue it's working in our life and our whole creation it's waiting for the light is take over the darkness especially here we have a mission in uh, in this earthly life and special each everyone have a really a very a special calling to be a part of the light and share the light. So, need an order, a light in our life. This is the number one. And this is basically the easiest way when you read the Bible, where you memorize the Word of God, is start changes and give you a different character just how you learn day by day about the Word of God, to be one, you be one with God. And this has given a new character. So the number two point is after order, you receive a new character, a godly character in your life. So be ready for this uh, confrontation, what to make the old nature, the, what is the old will be new, what is the dark uh, be in the light, and many other things what the Lord show when we born again, when we come to his kingdom by his grace and love. And now you not just uh, have an order, but parallel for it is always to keep going and ending of your earthly life disorder is always working now you also uh, change your character and this is very important for now you have a godly character now this has happened in jesus life also he liked to go to the father's house and even talking with the jewish teachers and he was very smart boy so uh, we can see his life but took it 30 year when basically he start his ministry when changed his life and not just be ordered and 
prepared for. He do his the rest of his life three and a half years mission, but also his life needed first to be a, a character, a godly character. He was God and he is God, but Noah was a character that was ready to be anointed. So be happy and transform your life, order and character. And number three is about for you be anointed. And this is what God do in your life, not you anoint yourself, not what people are saying, but have a certain time when the Lord is saying to you, I anointed you. And this is what experience also John the Baptist when saw the dove descending on Jesus. And it, there was a symbol about the Holy Spirit in Jesus' life. So there was that Jesus would be anointed. And finally, the last part is the gift. Yes, for anointing all this for a purpose. And Jesus being anointed for preach the gospel, heal the sick, and also for casting demons. So a lot of things never happened before his life. And anointing is always for a purpose. So let you experience this four point in your life. Of course, it's never ending. All four continue working parallel in your life. Let there be order, new character. Let your life be anointed and gifted by the gift of the Holy Spirit in your life.